a few weeks ago, I, well, for the past month, I've been visiting a perfume, uh, perfume oil factory in Cairo. So one of the biggest, it's called King Ali. And I've been working with them to create a unique perfume. oil factories here in Egypt they don't actually allow they do not do custom scents they have their own mixes and usually they just sell you know the proper the proper incense oil so in this case they've agreed to make a perfume for myself so I want to test it out on everyone everyone's waiting very expectantly Hello my friend, my name is Sayyid, I'm from Egypt, it's quite Bedouin. I grew up by the pyramids and my family built the pyramids of Rohanic people. My Bedouin family with Muhammad Ali in our sister wedding. If yes. you see my face, I am seeing looks like Ramses second or Tutankhamun. <laughs> now we have a very nice guy. I meet him by chance and we become good friend because you were speaking italian yes yeah. you want me to speak italian ah, no. yes, 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 because i speak italian and uh, uh, i meet him front my store factory by the pyramids so when i grow up and i invited him for tea maybe you meet some be many people but you don't make a friend with all the people he asked me to make a new experience in my business yeah. and I am this going is unique. with him. No one ever asked you this. Exactly. Nobody never. I work when I was five years in this field. I have a commercial and business and administration from Cairo, but I like my family work. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the oasis, among the camel, and the horse in Fayum Oasis. We grow flower aromatherapy and we do essential oil, healing oil, aromatherapy. But he will mix by himself some essence together to create even new smell. Yes. I'm, I'm very sensitive to, to smell. Like we were trying different ones and he was, oh, try this. I said, no, I don't like, what was it, jasmine. It gives me a headache. So I chose things that I like that will you know, be good for me. That is lotus blue. Blue lotus. Blue lotus. Please. Yes. And we will take... We're doing the, the, I think, let's first do the sweet one. Exactly. So blue lotus with some frankincense. Frank essence. Okay. Okay. Frank essence, do this one. Just okay. to even it out a little bit. Papyrus. Papyrus. Smell first papyrus if you, you think that it will be good. We'll do some. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> really. But do, yeah. it, do it. Yes, do it. In. We will label absorb. It, absorb. Yes. When a job gives you also the perfect smell, but it's good. Oh, Frank. It's sweet, and but not too sweet. You will carry it in the name now? Ah, oh, yeah. Let's make this one the sweet one in the Hathor. Okay. Yeah. Write it here by the name of Allah. You give it a blessing before exactly. it goes in. blessing, yeah. So everyone's perfume that they order Allah. will be blessed. <laughs> And that the color is natural. It's not natural, let's see. Yes. It's natural. Exactly. It comes from, from pressing the, the flowers. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, I love the color. And you know why the color is good? Because I don't know if it's creative like this. I'd be a liar if I tell you I know. You know why the color is good? <laughs> why? This makes sense because Hathor exactly. is the goddess of turquoise. Oh. You see the color is turquoise. Look at that. Don't you think the color is beautiful? I don't have this color. You either. don't have this color. You, you need turquoise. We yes. have the so, lady of turquoise. So you choose by yourself with another hand. Okay. So on this hand. What about if we choose. Um, so we have the blue lotus. Which ones did we use? It we was use this and this. You smell to decide it. And, yeah. Okay. Smell to decide it. Mm -hmm. okay, See, it's a different lotus. Exactly. It's yes. More... I tell you, we have two lotus. Blue mm -hmm. lotus. And, uh -huh. Yeah. So we'll try with this. Okay. We'll begin it with this one. Okay. So we have yes. the sandalwood. Sandalwood. 
cabbage here. Let's put the yes, lotus, normal lotus. Lo normal lotus? Yes. Oh my goodness. I, I didn't smell this before. You've never smelled no, it before? No. Oh. Let's put just a little bit a more little of mask. Of mask. We, uh, we think about the quantity. Mm -hmm. So we'll make this more, more than, than the bit. other ones. Yes, exactly. Yes. Let's put a little more sandalwood. Opium, opium. Let me smell the opium. Opium. No, no, no opium. Is that the amber? Does it smell before? Amber. You know what about amber? Let's put amber. Okay, grab it. This is the one. It's yeah. new. Yeah. And the people like everything new. Yeah. Amber I look very shiny now because it's, it's oil. There's no alcohol. It's pure. Exactly. This one is mixed between spicy and uh, fresh and sweet. Yeah. They give you uh, some smell as you smell five kinds together. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know this? Yeah. There is some smell here. You put after five minutes, the smell it develops. develops. They give you this, this exactly. attention. For that smell, it's these are the options. Wallah. So it's like uh, yeah. inclusive. Exactly. Including. One six of sandalwood, okay? Be with me, please. Yes. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> what you call it this this one i'm thinking i'm thinking amun amun ra amun ra yeah amun ra okay do it. Yeah. hathor and amun ra okay do it Ooh, i like the color when it changes this new mix it's of exclusive. Oil. It's exclusive to your shop. Exactly. I will do it with the quantity, yes. with the kind I have, the kind, I will, the I quantity. We'll put a, we'll put a link so people, when they come to Egypt, they can come and buy the smell here. Okay. You, and you, there will be the order online. And uh, inshallah, we will see you in another video soon, inshallah. Oh, wow. So these are the bottles. Oh. This is the scent for the more sweet one and it's hand-blown glass oh it's stunning done in cairo it's a beautiful with bottle. gold leaf around right. the edge so it's a little pharaoh yeah so Should we pass that round we went through a whole process to to choose the correct one yes so that is for the sweeter scent named hathor and we have the more musky scent which is amun and that's the gold bottle oh, thanks. Mm. okay yeah they're stunning. So Hathor, goddess of love and love beauty. Love and beauty. And Amun, the all-powerful god of Egypt. And why did you choose the all-powerful god? Well, the smells that you're going to smell in here will add up Amun. to all of this. The perfume is also turquoise color. And this is natural. This is not, it doesn't have any anything added. So this is 100% natural oil. The blue comes from the color from the blue lotus. So inside Hathor, so romantic. inside Hathor, we have blue lotus, papyrus. You can't get much more Egyptian than that, can you? No, not at all. So Stephanie, we'll try some Hathor on you. Thank you. It's really that's nice. Yeah, you like it? What I love, and I don't know if that's partly because of the amount of wind blowing at the moment, but what I love is the fact that you don't get any uh, silage, you don't get any trace at a distance. Yeah. And then as you get close to someone's body, it's there's a most it. wonderful scent. It's, it's very It's because this is, this is pure oil. There's no chemicals. Yes. There's no alcohol. This is the pure smell. Yes. And yeah. it's, the quality is. Oh, I'm glad everyone likes it so much. Mm. It's absolutely <laughs> exquisite. It is, isn't it? I adore perfume, and this one is actually very special. And you know, we're really spoiled in France for perfume. Yes. And we're quite snobby about it too, I think. <laughs> and it's really, really wonderful. Well, this is a sweet one, but I would wear this. It's got some nice floral uh, undertones I really like. I talk to you, but I just keep doing this it's really nice i actually don't wear a lot of perfume because i find i react to a lot of them so i'm not i'm not reacting at all to this one other than the actual delight of wearing perfume so great job curtis <laughs> thank you this is the second one it's this beautiful amber Ooh, color dark and mysterious exactly it is black musk regular lotus you've basically gone for the world's most expensive 
ingredients. Exactly, in exactly. Yeah. And it comes out in this beautiful amber color. So, it is with that gold. So, give me the other hand. Try the, this is the musky one, Amun. So, so warming as well. So, what is Amun's connection There's no connection between them, really but it's good. the quality yeah. that I saw inside each perfume. Right, okay. Oh, yeah. That is, that, I noticed that. I think this is my favorite. That I one. love both, I think this is my favorite. Yeah, it's darker. The high notes there. Feels to me not only like a masculine or feminine side of scent, but um, winter and summer. Yeah, yeah. two different yeah. styles of that, yeah. Hathor's quite summer, and Amun is the winter. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I'm getting more of like a late night scent as opposed to the daytime of the sweet one. So it's oh, like a daytime, nice. nighttime thing. Yeah. And I'm. Yeah, I would wear both, for sure. I do like what Sarah said about e. day and night. I think this one suits me better, frankly. I love I love those rich tones to it. Yeah. I still think I'm Team Hathor. <laughs> <laughs> I like the first one, the sweet one, that you said. Yeah, so you two, you two are Team or, Hathor as well? Or Isabel. So you think that Mummy is basically the goddess Hathor? Yeah. I've always thought that. When I first saw that bottle cup, I thought, oh, this is quite plain. Yeah. I understand this got nice work on it, but then when you bring it, the, the black lotus is going to go into it. Okay, so, that's perfect. Yeah. Really You're going to see the gold pop. It's yeah. really going to look stunning. Yeah. yeah. We've got Amun and Hathor. And they're going to look so good inside. Like inside, this, this yeah. Blue, yes, blue green. Turquoisey. And that, that's yeah. so luxurious. Yeah. So, I mean, we have these both. Oh, they're different gonna... sizes, too. I hadn't yeah. noticed. Yeah, one is just a little taller. Yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do a limited run of about a hundred of these. You're gonna sell them? Yes, so there'll be a limited run of about a hundred because the oils are very precious to get. Yeah. So we'll have a limited run. Yeah. So everyone, I have three Amun and three Hathor. Who would like one of each? Who would like one? And which one? Take one as a couple. As a couple. We like the same one. It's unisex. So, <laughs> so basically, each each couple chooses we'll one. Okay, so you're getting. We'll go with the couple. All right, Amun. A little bit of Curtis on the dressing table. A little bit of me. They'll scream Curtis. You can walk around and smell me all day. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you so much. Unbelievable. Thank really you. good. I have just received the first box for the Amun. Ra, Amun Ra, and Hathor perfumes. I am so excited to see this now because I spent quite a, a long time designing this. The idea that I had the packaging for the perfume changed thanks to Stephen Cole from Manor and Maker. He convinced me that we needed to have a different kind of packaging. That's obviously fantastic. The cartouches for the gods' names, obviously. Yeah. Yes, of yeah. course. Yeah. yeah, I mean, anything like that, just to, to bump up the, the, the fact that this is a, a quality product and a premium product and it's got, you know, it's got a story behind it, you know, all that sort of stuff, I think will just help sell this product. So, and since it smells amazing, um, it should look good too. So then I set out to work on, on this and I really love how it looks. The original idea that I had was I wanted it to look like a museum crate and then you open it and you see the little Faro bottle on the inside. Um, yeah, that he, Steve convinced me, you know, we needed to do something a bit more special. So this is how we've ended up now with this 
beautiful box. On the cover, we have the goddess Hathor with her name in hieroglyphs above, Amun on the other side with his name in hieroglyphs, and above here, we have a dedication to the goddess Hathor. At the bottom here, we have a dedication to Amun. Late 18th dynasty borders happening over here with the Minoan style waves, which I just really love. That's a motif from the chariot of Tutankhamun that I really just love. Even though this box is designed to be like a 19th dynasty object. On the outside here, we can see a princess on this side and a queen giving offerings to male gods. So you've got Khnum, Nefertem, Ra, Amun, Osiris, and Geb. And the queen giving offerings here is actually Nefertari, my favorite ancient Egyptian queen. On the other side, we have a pharaoh and a prince and this pharaoh is Ramses II, and they are giving offerings to female goddesses. So we have Nephtes, Isis, Hathor, Neith, Ma'at, and again we have Hathor, because Hathor in the 19th dynasty was given a different role known as the Lady of the West, who would help lead you into the next life. On the back here, we have these beautiful stars which come from the tomb of Nefertari. So on the ceiling we have these beautiful star patterns and on the back here you can scan this QR code it will take you to this video so you can see it directly to show people where you got your perfume from, how it came about. We have King Ali which is the perfume factory myself and Mr. Saeed Abdullah who helped create this. And over here is a picture of myself and Stephanie Jarvis from Chateau Diaries. And it is us when we first tested the actual perfume, the, the oil, the scent. Uh, Stephanie was the first person outside of the, the creation process. Um, so I wanted to include her on the box. Now the box doesn't just open like a normal little box, it is a drawer box. And the drawer where the perfume will go inside and inside here will be, it will be filled with raffia, which is linking to my idea of wanting a like a museum crate. So I still get to keep that little idea of opening it and then digging for your perfume. Pharaoh perfume bottle and then the actual bottle containing your perfume will be alongside it. On the back we have a beautiful image of Amun-Ra in the ram form. We have Nefertari being bathed in water from Sobek and Sekhmet with Ramses on the side and a little scribe. And this scribe is meant to symbolize me because there's an ostraca at the gem that people say it kind of looks like me with the short hair. On the other side we have the same sort of scene except we have Ramses II in the middle being bathed by Thoth Rahurakti and Queen Nefertari giving an offering of lotus because lotus is one of the ingredients in both perfumes. On the other side here a scene of a noblewoman receiving offerings from Hathor in the in the tree, the sycamore tree. And on the other side, it's a noble man receiving the offering. Hathor emerging out of the hill. On the inside of the box, going all the way around, we have the sacred cows, which are inside Nefertari's tomb. We also have Senegem here leading the cows. Senegem was a nobleman and a tomb designer during the 19th dynasty, during the life of Ramses and Nefertari. So I felt like including him and the Apis Bull. So happy with how the box has turned out. I mean, it's really beautiful with the, the black and the gold. It is very ancient Egyptian as they loved using black and gold. So I just hope everyone enjoys the perfume. Let me know what you think, guys.